This contest is brought to you in association with Lonsdale. JF Daughters Prestige Watches. PJ Brown Construction. All or Nothing, The Mod Musical. And Ricer, and Ricer High Performance Screws. Introducing your first fighter standing across the ring in the blue corner. Representing Forefront Martial Arts Academy, please show your appreciation for Jake Granite Heisman. And introducing your second fighter standing across the ring in the red corner. Representing the Light to Box Gym, make some noise for Kieran uh, Lights Out. Leicester! This Queensbury middleweight showdown will be fought over four two-minute rounds. Your referee in charge of the action is Mr. Seamus Dunn. One, two, Jake. Kieran, uh, Jake. All right, lads, these are my instructions. Protect yourselves at all times. Obey my instructions. Well, this could be uh, some your fight your if it lives up to billing. Queensbury's hotly contested middleweight division. Back, Jake Heisman against Kieran Leinster. Leinster, who was one of the rising stars of the league a couple of years ago. His uh, star has just dimmed a little with a couple of defeats in recent outings. We need to see whether he's back to his lights out best tonight against uh, Heisman. Leinster in purple, Heesman the black and white hard trunks. Yeah, Leinster just had a little dip in form recently, needs to get back on a winning run here, needs his victory badly, but he's in with a tough opponent in Jack Heesman. Heesman always comes to fight and he's going to force everything out of Leinster here. Well, both come forward fighters, so don't expect it to be uh, too much messing about here. Good work there from Linster, switching the attacks to the body. Yeah, when he was at his best, Leinster, he was in, he was out, he did his damage, and then he got out of harm's way just in case there was anything coming back. Yeah, he needs a good win here, he needs to look good doing it as well. But Heisman will have other ideas, good right hand there. Heisman took that shot well. He needs to start picking that left hand up, Heisman, carrying that quite low, lack of head movement. He's there, sitting in the pocket for that right hand. And he's not quite so bouncy on his feet either, Heesman, so he's finding it hard to get out of trouble. Needs to just step up that foot movement and bob and weave a little bit more as well, that's better. Nice little uppercut as well from Heesman to try and get himself going. Yeah, well, it's a good opening round there from Kieran Linster. He needed that as well, just to boost that confidence. He got off with some good shots there, switching the attacks to the body and the head, and Jake Heisman spent much of the round on the back foot, taking lots of shots. So a good start there from Kieran Linster. Yeah, it was really the uh, Queensbury Boxing League Quest Knockout Tournament, which where things started to just derail slightly for Leinster, who was beaten by Taylin Jones, who went on to win that particular tournament. But a couple of defeats as well since then, stopped last time out by Joel Wanderima, stopped incidentally for the first time in his career, seconds, Leinster, Ten seconds. for a man who was used to stopping all his opponents. I think that came as a, a little bit of a shock to the system, but he's back tonight. And up against uh, Jake Heisman, 26 two. years old, from uh, Hailsham in East Sussex. <laughs> Fights out of the Forefront Martial Arts Academy, does he's Heisman. And with the patriotic flag of St George on his uh, left thigh. Scheduled for four two-minute rounds, this one. 
although it is a middleweight contest, it's a, an eliminator for a light middleweight title crack next time out for one of these two. Well, good work again from Lynch. The boxing well on the outside here this evening. Normally a guy that likes to come forward, mix it up, and go straight into the trenches, but seems to have learned from the wonder of oh, oh, right And that was a big right hand. Yeah, he's just had to take a moment to gather himself there, and he was definitely caught by Lester. Yeah, as I was saying, Linster seems to have learned from the Wanderima defeat. He got badly knocked out in that contest, but he seems to have got back to the drawing board, works on his defence, and he's boxing nice here this evening. Checking that uh, all is OK with the gloves of Jake Heesman, but referee Shane has done his happy, so the contest continues. Big right hands again there. And there's only so many shots you can take like that. Heesman walking into those shots with lack of defence. He's going to need to work on that, or this contest is going to be over. Yeah, he's a tough cookie, Heesman, because he's taken some big shots already. Yeah, but you know what? He's looking on very unsteady legs in there, Phil. The legs just don't seem quite there at the moment. He's trying to force it, to be fair. Landed a good shot himself there. His right hand's right on the bell. He's been acknowledged that he was into the swing of that last one. Didn't mean to hit after the bell, but, uh, yeah, a couple of big bombs landed by Leinster there. Yeah, great round there. Leinster boxing really well, working everything well. Behind the jab, landed a couple of big right hands. Heesman, to his credit, took the shots and took them well. The legs dipped a couple of times, especially towards the end. He looked like he was on very unsteady legs, but to his credit, started fighting back and caught Linster with a couple of right hands of his own just to say, hey, I'm still in this contest. So this fight's still very much alive at the moment. Linster, for me, winning the first couple of rounds, but Heesman... Still showing that he's got a little bit left. Ten seconds, Conan. He's been lost to uh, Gavin Lissenden in uh, September corner. last year here at uh, Epsom Racecourse, challenging for the super middleweight belt. And now to middleweight, trying his luck against Kieran Leinster, but just signs that Leinster may be getting back to somewhere near his best. And uh, in that case, that spells danger for any opponent. That's good work again from Leinster. He's doing a good job of keeping this at range, Leinster. Working well behind the jab. We don't normally see that from him. We normally see him here on the inside. Landing some good body shots. He's been needs to come back with something here. What's been quite impressive in the Leinster performance so far is the repertoire, which certainly seems to have expanded. Good behind his jab, some nice body shots, as well as those dangerous hooks. Right, a big white hand again there from Leinster. Just forcing Heisman on the back foot. Good work from Heisman, letting him know he's still there, but most of the good work coming from Leinster now. Really is a strong man, though, Heesman. He's taken an awful lot of punishment. He just keeps coming forward. Yeah, you just like to see him doing something a little different, Heesman. He's walking forward and shipping these shots. But there's no defence at all, and you can't carry on fighting like that. Next, uh, hitting home with good variety. Again, it's the jab, followed by the big right hook. And Heesman really did wobble that time, and the referees decided to step in and give him a standing count. Yeah, well, Heesman's saying he's all right, but I'm not sure that he is that good, if I'm honest. He's walking on unsteady legs. And... Yeah, he's really winced with the pain with that last uh, shot of Leinster's. Oh, and again, oh, I think it could be time out here. Oh, right on the bell. Leinster was just poised to move in for the kill there. And Heesman survives to fight another day, but for how much longer, I'm not too sure.
Well, I'm going to tell you, Phil, and I'm going to tell you straight, I think that they should pull Heisman out here. I don't think he's got any chance of winning this contest. All that's going to happen is he's going to go out there and take punishment again in this fourth round. And the problem we've got for Heisman is that he's got a massive heart and he walks forward with no defence at all. And when you're boxing someone like Kieran Linster who can whack with either hand, it would probably be a good idea if the corner pulled him out because he won't pull himself out and Linster is only going to give him more punishment. Well, there are one or two words being exchanged over there in the blue corner. It looks like Heisman's coming out for more. Scheduled to be the last round, should be another two minutes. But it's anybody's guess whether it's going to go that far. He's been not surprisingly trying to fight fire with fire. He knows his only chance of winning is to knock his opponent out now. But as Spencer Oliver said there, the likelihood is that if there's going to be any kind of a knockout, it's Heesman who'll be on the receiving end. Yeah, now we knew the heat. Oh, good shots again. And this has got to be stopped here. Yeah, yeah the good decision. Leinster back to his best. Heesman, well, he looks disappointed, but to be honest, that was really good refereeing by Seamus Dunn to get him out of there. Absolutely. Listen, we know Jack Heesman would have just carried on all night, but you can't carry on taking shots like that. He was never in a position where he was going to win that contest. After that third round, the referee doing a great job of stopping the fight and stopping it when he did, because Heesman, to his credit, would have just continued. Great fighter with a massive heart, but he was just out of his depth tonight against Kieran Lisa. And you can tell Leinster's back to his best when he sneaks a kiss with the ring girls, which he's managed so far this evening. Well, that was a tight eliminator. It'll be good to see him going for a belt next time out here in Leinster. Fights out of the like to box gym in Red Hill, and it was his boxing skills tonight which really caught the eye. Yes, he's still got the power, but now he's got that little bit extra variety as well. Yeah, it was good to see that. That's what I was really looking for. After his last defeat against Wanderima, I thought, where's he going to go from here? Because if he continues fighting the way he's fighting and meeting fire with fire, he's going to come unstuck because you're going to find that platform and that level, and you're going to stay there. But what he's done is... He's gone back to the drawing board, he's worked on his mistakes, worked on his weaknesses, and he boxed lovely behind the jab there, picking the shots, created the space, and there you saw the results. Great performance by Kieran Linster, and if he continues like that, he can get himself back to the top. Stop us to this contest at 33 seconds of the fourth round. To your winner, Kieran Lights Out Linster. And then my lights out, the lights are on full power again for Leinster. Impressive performance tonight, great win for the man in purple.